What's up, everybody? My name is David, and in this video, I'm going to be breaking down .com versus .stores, so stay tuned. So I'm over here in Shopify trying to register a domain name for my e-commerce website, and I put in the magic .store. I think that has a nice ring to it. It reads really well. It's fun, and it's short. I really like it. Now let's see if it's available. So right here, the magic dot store is available for nine dollars a year. It's wide open. Now, obviously, that's the introduction rates. It's going to be more for the renewal rates. But the dot com, of course, it's unavailable and dot net dot org dot co are all unavailable. And this is quite a good domain name. If we take a look at the magic dot com, the hyphen magic dot com is available for sale right now for one thousand four hundred ninety five dollars or that magic dot com for almost five thousand dollars dollars and this is why the dot store extension is so good because you can get a premium quality domain extension it's short and sweet it's growing in popularity and there's a lot of great options that are completely available and wide open right now dot com versus dot store what's the difference and how do they stack up compared to one another let's begin Okay, so the .com domain extension is the legacy extension of the internet. It's the most popular domain extension. It's the one that I suggest you get if you're launching an online store, blog, website, etc. because it's the legacy domain extension. You're always going to be happy with a .com. Com, whereas you have an alternative domain extension, sometimes you're going to be wishing that you had the .com. But of course, that's not always the case. Sometimes the domain name that you really want is just not available. And that's where an alternative like .store comes in. .store was launched in 2016 primarily to give people more flexibility with getting the domain name that they actually want for what they're doing online. Because let's be honest, like .store is actually a really good domain extension. It has a lot of specific benefits. Now, the first one is that it's just clear and specific what your website is about. You're starting an online store. So if you're building something with like Shopify, dot store is a great domain extension. It also has open registration. So that means anyone can get a dot store, be it an individual or a company. It's great for branding purposes. So you can play around with a dot store domain extension in a way that you can't with a dot com. Like you can have like my super amazing dot store. So it reads as like my super amazing store. That's kind of a fun, playful thing that you can do with a dot store domain extension that you can't do with a dot com. And like I just said, the dot store extension is really good for branding purposes because you can actually get the domain name that you want with a dot store extension because the dot com version of your dot store is usually going to be already registered. And the last is trust. So the dot store extension is growing in popularity and it's used by a lot of different creators and brands. Like if I was going to be starting like an e-commerce website with my personal brand where I'm going to be selling like t-shirts and mugs or whatever, I would be more tempted to register like a dot store extension on Shopify than going with a dot com. SEO in which one ranks better? So this is a common question I do get because people are worried about registering a dot store because maybe it's not going to perform as well as a dot com. And to be honest with you, both of these extensions are considered top level domain extensions. That means they're treated exactly the same by Google. So yeah, if you're going to push me on this, I would say like maybe if like a dot store and a dot com had the same exact link profile, I'd probably give it to the dot com to maybe perform a little bit better. But again, they're both top level domain extensions. So if we want to get a little bit more technical, like we're doing content marketing and blogging. So yeah, if you have like a .com and you're blogging on a .com and it also has e-commerce functionality on it, then that would probably perform better than like a .store extension that also has a blog type content as well as e-commerce functionality for content marketing purposes. So with that, I would say like, yeah, the .com probably would perform a little bit better because .com is a little bit more common to be used for a blog, whereas .store is, again, just an e-commerce domain extension, not really a blogging extension. And I'm not saying people are going to register a .store and begin blogging, but, but a lot of times you want to blog and engage in content marketing with your e-commerce website as a way to get organic search traffic and then convert that traffic in some meaningful way. So a .com is a little bit better for that purpose alone if you're going to be blogging and doing content marketing on your site. But if you already have like your top of the funnel marketing set up, then .com, .store, both are treated the same in search engines. And I would say like .store has a little bit of an advantage over .com because it is a little bit more clear and specific. So if people see a .store, they kind of know what they're going to be getting, what they're going to be doing. Sort of like a Patreon. Like we all know like a Patreon is like a subscription membership type thing. It's not a free thing. So when people navigate to like your Patreon page, they know that it's going to be a subscription type thing. Dot store is like that. It's clear and specific. I know exactly what I'm going to be getting by visiting your dot store website. It's going to be an e-commerce website where I buy something. 
Why do people register a dot store in the first place? Why not just get the dot com? Well, because you can't. So because sometimes the dot com that you really want is going to be taken up by some type of domainer already from like 10 years ago. Again, dot coms are very, very difficult to get. And when you get a good one, you want to hold on to it because then either you can a sell it or use it for later. Like back in the day, I owned the domain name juiceboxcreative.com and I had that for a website for a period of time and then I let that domain expire. Now, if you wanna get juiceboxcreative.com, it's a premium domain name and it's gonna cost you thousands of dollars. Whereas when I registered, it was just $10 a month on Namecheap. So in short, people get the dot store because they can't get the dot com that they want. Also with a dot store, you're able to get a shorter word combination. And like I mentioned that you can play around with the dot store in a way that you can't with the dot com. Like a great example is standstore.com. Like that's super simple, super easy to read. And it's a lot better. Like standstore is a lot better than standstore.com. It's quick to say, easy to remember, two words put together, and it's very shareable. So in short, people tend to get the dot .store version of their e-commerce website because they can't get the dot .com. But like I just said, dot .store is a great extension. Like if I was to start like an e-commerce website for my personal professional brand, whatever you want to call it, then I would probably go with a dot .store instead of using like mywebsite.com slash shop slash product. Like I'd probably just launch a completely new thing on Shopify and use a dot .store extension. Does the end user actually care? Now this goes back to the very first point. Dot store is great for branding purposes. It's trustworthy. Lots of brands use it and it's growing in popularity. So I personally would not worry about using a dot store. And I think people like the dot store extension. Like back to stand store. Like I like the domain name stand store. I'm not going to be like, oh, pff, I can't use stand store because it's not standstore.com. Nobody thinks that. That's silly. So in short, the dot .store domain extension is totally fine to use. Your end visitor is not going to care that much. And in fact, because you're using the dot .store, you typically can get a more branded, unique domain name that your end visitor is probably gonna like a little bit more than some long, wordy .com. The price point of a dot .store versus a dot .com domain extension. So a dot .store is gonna cost you like maybe a dollar or so to register at Namecheap. It's very, very affordable upfront, but the renewal rates is quite high at over $30. The reason for this is just to prevent domainers from gobbling up all the dot .store domain extensions and causing the same problem that the dot .com has, whereas you can't get the dot .com that you actually want. As for the price point for a dot .com, it's still quite affordable where you can get a nice low discount rate, not like at a dollar, but you can usually get like a dot com upfront for maybe free for the first year or like $10 for the first year. And then the renewal rates is quite affordable at like $15 a year or so at Namecheap. So again, domain prices constantly increase. So I do suggest registering your domain name for 10 years upfront, which is what you can do at a domain name register, which is why I always suggest you get your domain names at Namecheap instead of buying your domain names from a web host or a website builder, because they only allow you to get a domain name for one year at a time. So you can get your .com or your .store upfront for 10 years at a great price. But overall, it's not really that big of a deal if you're using a .store domain extension for one e-commerce website that's quite profitable and you're making money from it, then who cares that it's a little bit more expensive than a .com? The people who are actually sensitive to domain name prices are domainers because a domainer is someone who's going to have like 50, 100 .coms, so they really care about the renewal rates for their .com. So just do the math, like if you had like 100 domain names, then yeah, you're gonna care if like your domain renewal rate is gonna be $30 more expensive per domain compared to like having this other domain extension. And last is copyright infringement. So just make sure you're not infringing on anyone's copyright. That means if the .com that you want to get is not available, then you have to check to make sure that someone's not actually using it. Because if someone's using that .com, you can't just go and register an alternative domain extension. Like I can't just go and register like Mr. Beast dot co and start using that domain extension that's a copyright infringement so that's just something that you need to be aware of when registering a dot store you don't want to be infringing on someone else's brand someone else's trademark you can't just use an alternative domain extension of a business and brand that's already using a dot com or dot co or dot net or whatever if the brand exists you can't just use their brand name and their trademark with a different extension all right everyone that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did subscribe and hit that like button my name is david thanks for watching and have a great day bye bye